last one. All right, this is Mike with Trek with Mike, Texas. So at a thought, I'm trying to figure out how many miles can I go on this group ride with the Plano Lowriders. And uh, I thought, you know, it'd be nice to know how far I can go in each, each level of assist. And so that's the plan. I'm going to charge up my trike. I'm going to charge up my wife's trike. They both have the same batteries. Hers is an EP8, mine's an EP801. And so, I'm going to find out, I got a, a 10 mile route, roughly 10 miles in my neighborhood. I'm just gonna ride that. So it'll be the same elevations, ups and downs. And, uh, you know, close to home for when I do finish on the batteries. I want to put it in the highest level. And I'll change my profile here to be just like her. So I'll have three levels. Eco, trail, and boost. And then take off and trail. And uh, when, you know, I'll tell you what this says at the very beginning and then after, let's just say, two miles. After two miles, I'll tell you what it says on that level, how far we got. And then uh, ride it, and when this gets down to 10 miles, then that's where we'll call it. When this says 10 miles left. So, and we'll do that, and you know, doing the same section of trail, I'll be pedaling roughly the same every time. I'll keep it in the highest gear, 10 or 11, hers 11. And then only shift down for uphills if I need to. And the coast where I can. And yeah, you know, we'll see how far we can get. Let's see how it goes. All right, this is Mike with Truck Mike, Texas. This is the ASEB Tie Fly range test for boost. I've changed it to the Eco. It says 106 miles. Trail, 53 miles. And boost, 35. Very similar to the other. The only, di the only difference is here is my odometers at 1710. Uh, the other one was 200 and something. So I've got a lot more use of this battery. And then the, uh, uh, the fact that I charged them both on Sunday and then today's Friday and this track hadn't been used. I've been using the other. So, uh, let's just go see how it goes. All right. This is Mike with track with Mike, Texas. And, uh, we're at the two mile mark with the A sub. I just took a screenshot, which is one nice thing I can do with the A sub EP801 versus the EP8 uh, because it's Bluetooth. I have all the all the uh, information on my phone that I can use and see much easier than the front display screen. Although right now I'll try to scroll over there with the camera. Uh, the front display screen is visible. It's it's you know, easy to read and everything else, but that's because it's nighttime and I don't have a, uh, you know, I don't have a sun glaring off of it. Um, so anyway, ironically, uh, just the same as the ice at the two mile mark, it jumped from the uh, original 35 or 36 miles 239 um, after riding and I suspect that's because you know the amount of coasting I've done versus pedaling there's some sections uh, 
that I pedal in some sections I coast and it, it, it continually adjusts its time for that now however I don't expect to get any more range out of this than the ice um, for instance the same 70 cadence on this trike gets me basically the same miles 18.4 miles per hour uh, with a 70 cadence in 10th gear the other has 11 gears and all that tells me is uh, the gear pairing on the highest gear is you know basically the same uh, so we're going to continue on and uh, I'll report back later All right, this is Mike with Trike with Mike, Texas. So I just took another screenshot. We're right at seven miles. It's showing 31 now. Uh, other than right now, I've been maintaining that uh, 70 cadence uh, and you know one or two sharper turns I had to slow down. But um, so it looks very similar to the ice. The one thing I'll tell you though, this A sub rolls so much smoother. It gets up to speed faster. Um, it coasts farther. Uh, it weighs more. So the more efficient wheel rolling and coasting probably is offset by the extra weight of the trike. Um, don't know how much yet. I'll have to find that out at some point. I gotta, I guess, go get three scales uh, or find some kind of contraption where I can do the entire trike as a unit. But, uh, so that's the update for that. All right, that's Mike with Trike with Mike, Texas. Uh, 14 and a half miles into the A sub run and uh, shows. I got 23 miles of range left. Let's continue. All right, this is Mike with Trike with Mike, Texas. Just got back, did this one in one ride, 29 miles, and it hit eight on the miles remaining. So, identical range, same size battery. Uh, this one had a stale charge. I could have caught it in different levels you know like early eight late eight but regardless uh, I'm figuring 80 percent of what it says in the beginning and a full charge is what you can safely do with a little bit of spare left over uh, and again I'm not going to try it for trail and eco uh, I think I'll get the same results, just take longer. I'll go with the 80% there. Uh, but in your area, try your bike, trike, whatever it is, and uh, figure out what you need so when you go out, you don't have trail anxiety. Thanks for watching.